Hey everybody, it's Phil Evans with Timber and Rose Realty Group again, and today we have a very special guest. Uh, Sonia Sanford is executive chef and owner of Beetroot Market in Delhi, and uh, today she's going to talk with you about what you can do to prepare a little bit more healthy meals um, with the ingredients that are probably already in your house. So Sonia, thanks so much for joining us today. Um, let's start off with, tell us a little bit about Beetroot Market in Delhi. Um, it's kind of a cool business model that you've kind of started. What what uh, is that all about? So we're a uh, modern Jewish deli um, and specialty food store. And we specialize in like, what does a Jewish deli look like in the 21st century? So for us, that meant using really high quality, sustainable local ingredients. Um, we're a women run business. Um, there's myself and my chef de cuisine, who's also a woman and Jewish, although our, our staff is diverse. And we prioritize working with other small female run businesses. Uh, we work with a lot of local uh, women farmers, organic farmers. So all of our produce is 100% organic. All of our proteins and fish are sustainable and high quality. And we just really believe in using great ingredients and then the food tastes better. Yeah, and it really does. So, you know, check them out when, when uh, we're, we're through with all this, you know, uh, craziness, go check them out. They're amazing. So, so Sonia, um, can you kind of hit on some um, things that we need to know kind of to, to stay healthy throughout this? Because I know my wife and I were running out of um, ideas. So, um, you know, give us some ideas on what we could be using to stay healthy. Yeah, it's really easy to get into kind of cooking slumps, especially when you're forced to cook every single day. And I think the way that I've approached cooking right now is to really think about what are the most nutritious, but also the most comforting things I can be cooking with? I mean, part of keeping your immunity high is it, your diet. And there's some, you know, very common ingredients that are really nutrient rich and help boost immunity. And just to loosely touch on that, like you don't have to have every single thing in your pa pantry. I think it's really important right now not to be stressed out about cooking, to kind of approach it, you know, like as calmly as possible and make it fun. So I wouldn't worry about having every single most nutritious ingredient, but some of the ones that I've been trying to incorporate uh, most often right now are garlic. Garlic, especially if you chop it and let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes, it has enzymes that are anti-inflammatory anti -inflammatory and um, boost your immune system. Uh, onions are always also good for immunity. Turmeric is one of my favorite spices. Turmeric is also an anti-inflammatory and an uh, immune booster. It's good to mix with any kind of fat. It helps the body absorb it. Um, let's see. And then citrus, like eating fresh citrus, and then any kind of dark vegetable. So I always just use the rule of thumb. The darker the veg vegetable, the more nutrients it has. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, because we talk a lot about green vegetables, but I've never really thought about dark vegetables. Yeah, yeah so red, um, purple cabbage beets, um, yams, as opposed to white potatoes, any principle like that, you're like, oh, blueberries, they're super nutrient dense. Um, so just thinking like, and that doesn't mean other vegetables are bad, like it's great to have cauliflower. Yeah. Hi there. We were talking with Sonia. Hi. Just like the guy who was like in Korea and is like got her invested <laughs> in the room. Love it. This hi. is Ada, everybody. Hi, say hi, Sonia. Or hi. say hi to Sonia, Ada. Um, okay, sorry, Sonia. No, Keep no, going. that's okay. Yeah, and it doesn't mean, again, to be nervous about it. Like, we certainly eat potatoes, we eat cauliflower, we eat lettuce. Like, those are all great, too. But if we're talking about just, like, the most bang for your buck, incorporating those darker vegetables are going to give you more nutrients. So those are kind of, like, the basic, pro like, you know, produce things I'm looking for. And then I'm just trying to really focus on whole foods. So that means grains, whole grains, um, lean proteins. Again, you're not wanting to weigh your body down right now. You're not wanting to put extra work in your body. Red meat, um, heavy fatty food, heavily processed food just takes more energy. And again, it's also a hard and stressful time. And some of those foods bring us comfort. So my other principle is like, okay, if we're going to go have a super comforting, not necessarily nutritious meal one night, we balance it out the next day and have something a little healthier. Right. And even in some of our um, comfort food meals, I'm also trying to sneak in uh, nutrition. So an example is like we did a nacho night one night because we love nachos, but um, I use black beans and kale 
you know, sauteed kale in the nacho with all the cheese. So at least there's some like extra fiber nutrients in that. That's a great idea. We had a nacho night recently too, and we didn't do those things, but I think next time we will. That makes a lot of sense. So, well, thank you so much. That makes, that's, that's great that, you know, something we can think about for sure. Um, uh, I think we will be back with you soon to learn more cool tricks about how to stay healthy during this time stuck at home. Thanks thank so much, Sonia. Yeah, have a great day.